Hi, I'm Fred Pinn, and welcome to Pin Zone. What's Pin Zone, you ask? I haven't got a clue, I'm just working it out as I go. Um, but I have got some inspirations from some channels that I've been watching, and I'll just give a shout out to them because uh, I think you should all watch them and check them out. The first one is Jordan from ALNSM in uh, France, and also Mita from Ignition Off Road in Australia. Donald from Soft Roading the West in the US, and also Sarah from Sarah and Tuned, also in the US. And um, I've been just keeping tabs on some of their, their channel, their videos, and been really inspired. And the thing I like about their channels is they, they're really enthusiastic about what they do. They really come across as um, really nice, honest people that um, enjoy their interests and just sharing it with, with everyone else. And I guess that's what I want to do with this channel, share my interests with everyone else. I did start up Pin Zone a couple of years ago and it was a little bit aimless, didn't go anywhere, didn't have any niche. Um, I was just mucking around. But I do have a project I'm going to uh, be sharing on this channel. And maybe the the YouTube channels I just mentioned now might give you an idea of what my project is. So, without further ado, let's check it out. This is it, my project. And as you can see, it's a Subaru Forester. This one is a 2005 SG series, 2.5, normally aspirated engine. And I'll be doing different mods to it and repairs and hopefully sharing those videos with you on my channel. It's pretty much as I bought it. Um, it came with the alloy rims, came with the, the roof racks already installed. It did come with the cargo barrier and the privacy screen, which is a bit of a bonus. When I went looking for cars, they didn't all have the privacy screen. Uh, it also came with the tow hitch which has already come in useful I've towed a trailer with this and um, with the 2.5 engine it's got enough power to, to pull a box trailer came with the tinted windows a few scratches but that's okay what do you expect it's 15 years old the tires have probably got another I don't know if you can see that, maybe another 10,000 k's, a little bit of wearing on the side, I might need to keep an eye on that. Uh, pretty standard, someone's already replaced the radio, put in a Kenwood Bluetooth and it doesn't always pair with my phone but uh, it's also a handy thing to have. Um, I've actually ordered a, a double din dash pod to replace the, the storage unit here and eventually I'll hope to put a, a double din car stereo hopefully with GPS so it's in reasonable condition I bought it with about 185,000 kilometers on the clock there you go it's even got some headlight protectors a bit of discoloring so I'll have to fix that up I'm not sure if it's the, the protector or the, the headlight. I haven't had those protectors off. This will be my project for the next, oh, I don't know, 20 years. Nice car, drives really well. I'm actually surprised how well this does drive for 2005. Goes where you point it, goes around corners well. Uh, I am considering a lift kit. That might change the dynamics and handling a little bit but I don't think it will affect it too much so now you know what my project is so I hope you join me and uh, tag along and just see where this takes me so or takes us because you're part of it so I hope you get some inspiration no matter whether you're doing up a project like a car or you are playing a sport or anything uh, it's just great to learn new things as I go along this journey hopefully the lighting gets better, the recording gets better, and the content gets better. So if you've got any ideas that you want to pass on, please do. And 
we'll see you in pin zone.